Aloha from the Maui Eco Retreat. I'm Kutiera and I have two little Tibetan Spaniel. This one here is Mochi. She's going on 11 years and we also have Ndava. I will introduce you to her later. You can only hold one of them. Um, I'm often getting asked what I feed my doggies and uh, as I only do that every three months because they don't eat that much, I thought it would be nice to show you how they have a healthy life. Here is what I do in the step one. Step one is the vegetables. Uh, as you can see, I am steaming spinach. I'm gonna let you down, my girl, so I can show more what you get to eat. Broccoli. Um, I just cut those off from my beets, the greens perfect, and green beets from our organic garden, a few colored and kale, everything green will be fine, and then we put a little bit sweetener in, a little bit of the sweet potatoes and carrots. So that will be all steamed, that will be the first part of the very nutritious raw food diet of our little four-legged friends. You know, when we are steaming the vegetable, you know, such as the sweet potatoes and the beans, they take a little bit longer. But when you get to the leaves, you know, really very just lightly, you know, don't over steam them so that they just break down a little bit and uh, so you can mix them up very well. And as you can see here, we still have to steam the beets, greens, and here are the carrots and the broccoli. So we're still in the steaming on part one. Okay, now we are moving forward to step number two, which are the proteins. These here are chicken thighs. And when I buy them at Whole Foods, I only get organic for my doggies as well. I asked them to cut them up and they was first look a little bit strange at me and said, what is this lady doing? But you see, the bones, everything get a bit smaller because we're going to grind them up. In the proteins, it's important that you are giving some organs, which we have within the liver, the meat here, the bones, and also this time I found chicken hearts. And for example, a pound of chicken hearts is $4 but you get quite a lot these are uh right there for us the chocolate chip in the cookie we're gonna cut them up finally now again you want in the protein you want to have the bones the meat and the organs now that's what we're starting how we're going to mix them up with the steamed vegetables we're making now our whole food concussion for our four-legged ones and uh, let me see to show you now how we go into step three okay now step three how to prepare the protein the chicken hearts I kind of like cut them into small pieces you may want to come close and take Because my little doggies would snap and bite that in one thing down. They wouldn't even chew on it. So I like to keep them about this size. And uh, you can cut them the way you ever want. You know, you can also go the lengths and then cut them into smaller pieces. As long they are chopped up and not in the blender. I want them to chew on it. I want them to really kind of like have the little teeth bite into something. So these are just the chicken hearts and uh, you may not find them all the time. Uh, you will see I take other meats as well, but for this batch I'm doing, we are lucky to we found chicken hearts. Okay, so this one will be a chop uh, for my assistant to come and cut that and I'm going on to that.
of blending this is chicken liver in weight quite heavy so I put in some chicken liver but not the whole box because this is a heavy piece here and maybe half of the whole thing here and then I am adding also some of the uh, pieces here which has the bones on it and it goes through some grinding you will hear and I make sure that the bones are completely um, fine um, integrated with the liver and then I add also the vegetables so that will be a noisy part and you're not going to have to hear that for all the time you can just see how in the beginning how that looks so I blended that on my blend tech on the, it says ice cream frozen and it's a 45 second cycle and it should come out really very smooth uh, the bones definitely mound up grinded up you know so you can maybe uh, just make sure you did it enough to go with your finger in there because we don't want to give them any bone pieces which could be stuck in their throat and uh, that's the only thing and then I kind of like gather them all together before I put more of the supplements in now we're gonna do that I show it again you take you can take a whole box here of liver and I kind of like looked how many boxes I have. I take six pounds, six was one pound in a thing like that. And so now I have five left. So I put two of this in it and this goes with the rest of it. So you can kind of like separate them apart and then mix them up in your way, the best way. Okay, now here we go again. It's going to be noisy. Okay, we have mixed up the meat now I like you for the next part to follow and listen to your heart you know when I'm looking at how much it cost me I am much cheaper than if I would buy something out there a bag of cables what's not covered is the time to make it but that's the love I have for Mulchi and Dawa who's sitting here and waiting like they can lick out the bowl and it takes me not that long but I know my doggies are fed and I believe if we would feed our doggies a good diet they will be not so much cancer around and I really proud to say my dogs are really healthy so here is what I add into the whole concussion of healthy food I put some Hawaiian spirulina and my motto is if it's good for me it's good for them yes so and uh, you can put in as much as you want you know I'm kind of like turning it into green oops that should not go in get that one out then I'm adding some rishi powder um, both my dogs are all now older in age and so I'm putting the Rishi powder in here I'm doing this kind of like yeah feels just what good now here is something which I also think what's important for them to have is calcium we have our own organic chickens we feed them the mochi Hansen so I dry the eggshells and when the eggshells are dried, I put them in the coffee grinder and I get that fine dust of calcium. So we get calcium into our dog food here. Uh, here is some Moringa powder, which I think is really good too. It's also a green mineral. It's starting to look really yummy here, even for humans. And inspired uh, for the diet I've been by Dr. Tobias, uh, he visited here in Hawaii and he became really, actually he stayed with us at the Maui Eco Retreat. That's how I got to know him and also his dog Sky, which is here on the label. And he made a green min and it's phenomenal. 
and he told me to stop by, uh, giving my dog kibbles and I said but look what's all good in there and it's organic and he says bring me the, that bag and I will explain to you what's in there do you know what is feather meal no that is just everything of the dead sick chicken or they get stuff which you don't even believe what they put into cables and that yes that's the part which brings your dog the cancer so take your time if you really love your four leggings and you want to have them in your life longer get the good stuff out because again i'm doing it only three months they don't eat that much of that stuff because it's so nutrient rich and so fulfilling and you don't even need to fill it, uh, feed them that much so that is just one part. Wait till you see when I feed them what goes on top of their food. Now you see that this here is going to be mixed up when it looks like a cake. We're going to bake big tort. Okay, so now I'm going to mix all of it together in the blender, the vegetable and all the protein with the minerals. Ah, and I always bring a block of salt back when I come back from my retreats I'm leading in Bhutan and Nepal and they have really great salt and I bring the book and then I grind it up and I put a little bit of dash of Himalayan salt in it because it has minerals as well and uh, I have other stuff which goes in but that's a later point okay now we are going to mix up the vegetables with the protein from the everything what we kind of like steamed the carrots the sweet potatoes the spinach the beans broccoli and then i'm putting some scoop of the mixture of the potent mixture of the meat on top of here and this time it doesn't gonna mix so long because if they're a little bit chunky of the vegetables that's fine you know they can still chew too um, and I'm going on smoothie very short well here we have now mixed up the vegetables with the liver and the bones and here are the chicken hearts this is about two pounds and we cut them up a little bit but it looks like you're putting the cho chocolate bits into a in a cookie you know so the doggies get to eat those as well so i'm gonna really mix them nicely under all of those chicken hearts and sometimes i make something completely out of beef uh, i have also added sometimes fish with the protein feel flexible what does your doggy like you know maybe it's turkey or other uh, protein so I just uh, got a good deal here at Whole Foods and was very excited to see that they had chicken hearts and uh, so this is like mixing them well up and then last step uh, we're gonna freeze them I will show you how much my portions are uh, because they get one scoop and I will also show you how I feed them but right now I mix this a bit better and I will show you how I pack it with uh, the plastic. Okay, and when you get that point to fill it up, you need to grab whoever is around you. Raphael was just feeding the chicken, so it got in and I said, come on, can you give me a hand? Because you need four hands. I fill it up with a soup level and then I piling in here and I know that in those little plastic bag, I get about three scoops and it's really hard to do it by yourself, so you need a helping hand. Thank you. Okay, and then when the three scoop, that's about this much. We seal them off, we flat them out, and then we freeze them. And I need about one of that per week, but I will show you when I put the Food together what else I add to stretch that is very potent but that will keep cancer away from your doggies from your loved ones and it's a uh, fun to do it you know okay here some more to fill up uh, I get about yeah over 
how many do we get Raphael when we do them well you will see I will give you the exactly count when we are done how many we got out of this but uh, till to the next part well we're coming to the end of this uh, video to share with you what is important to me and to my four-legged and you haven't been introduced to Dava and that's the little sister of Mochi she is about nine years old and a little rascal also a Tibetan Spaniel well let me show you how to feed them because they haven't gotten their breakfast yet and they are waiting for it okay Mochi already down here too why it is important to feed them really healthy food first of all we love them they are here for a short time on this earth and let's make it as long as possible the food you normally get in the so shops are really very contaminated and not as good as you can put your love in it and make sure you feed them good and healthy stuff that's the water i always add in the water and uh, the whole bowl a cup of living silica i use it for myself with my husband and uh, at a certain age it's good because it has minerals it's good for joints and bones and uh, hair and nails and for their fur so a little i just take one little cup of that add that and it's so tasteless they will not notice they will drink your water so then here is the food we did we mix it up and froze it like you saw before i take one scoop of that for each of them so I'm making here two bowls and sometimes I give Dava a little bit more because she's the still the one who runs the most around here you see then I have already pre-mixed in here hemp seeds and lecithin that's already pre-mixed that goes on top so I just put a little bit lecithin and hemp seeds, sprinkle that on top as you can see. And then I add the probiotic here. You can find them on Amazon, get a good quality. There are many different probiotics, but uh, it's very good stuff to add. And I forgot to tell you something else, which I add in here to, stre uh, to stretch a little bit out. I get from Honest Kitchen the dry food, and it's dehydrated vegetables. And you can choose just the, it's gluten-free and the wheat-free. It's just really vegetables. And you can also choose one which has some meat in it. I love that product. Uh, honest kitchen and I it's dehydrated so I put it into the bowl add water and it just comes to a really nice nutrient rich meal and then I add my own mix and mix that up that makes a bowl a bowl like that lasts for three uh, for a whole week for my two doggies because you will see you don't really need to give them a lot because it is very nutrient rich and yummy and here comes the dessert on top i'm with that company for many many years cv peak was recommended by dr tobias which really taught me and i have great regards for this doctor uh, that this is a great company to use the uh, product that is just simply dehydrated meat of uh, I got this time a beef and you can go for salmon, venison, many things and it's like little kibbles but that is just really only meat, it's nothing else. So they get on top of that a scoop, I always have them already pre-packed here in a, so I give them one scoop and that goes here on top. So, 
here you see that's a final and not last not least I'm giving a spout of an oil which I'm having in the fridge I'm gonna get that out right now the Alaskan salmon oil so I'm two spout, one spout, and also the glucosamine. Glucosamine on a certain age in their life, they really will have problems with their hips and their bones and everything. So this here is the final of a nutrient-rich daily portion. In the evening, I give him once more, but I do not add all the stuff which you see on here. I give him one scoop of this and one scoop of the kibbles. That's the dinner. And that's it. That's all what they eat. If I do give him a little treat in the afternoon, it's mostly something which is healthy. Piece of uh, piece of apple, <laughs> a piece of avocado no chocolate and they love that as well now that brings this to an end please remember what you feed your dog will determine how long your dog will be with you your four legged are your babies there are mine they're sitting here looking at me they know they're getting the food when they run over round up grounds who were sprayed with Roundup or uh, you feed them GMO food, of course, cancer is around the corner. So treat them with respect, treat them with good food and I wish you happy times with your beloved four leggeds and may they stay healthy a long time to come. Aloha from the Maui Eco Retreat in Maui and from Kutiara and Mochi and Dala. I'm going to feed them now. Aloha.